To some new electronic tools I have purchased, I will no longer be shooting my shot in the middle time of my cycle. Because I have clarity. I have clarity now. One could say that I've been cured of the desire to speak to strange men that I'm attracted to. I'm out of the matrix. I now see the truth. Due to some new- Gentlemen, Detective Warg here in the investigation room with a new suspect under my magnifying glass. This TikTok creator, who shall go by Dazed Dame to protect their privacy, is a prime example of modern female behavior to watch out for in your dating trials, should you choose to do so. I'll be reacting to their content and dissecting their behaviors in an entertaining and educational way so that you may know how to deal with similar characters in your day-to-day -day lives. Let's get right into today's topic, but first... So that you understand, let's watch the next video topic clip. Apps, if you're ovulating, please just don't do it because you're looking for very different things when you're ovulating. Your brain is not 100% normal, okay? Don't do it. Just trust me. Don't swipe on the dating apps if you're ovulating. All right, gentlemen. Now, let's get back to the gaming. And here we go. Last footage of The Witcher 3 for the week, as I've ran out of content. I'll record more for you in time being, but... Now that you've seen the second video, I think it makes a bit more sense now. How the kitty betrays women at times. Now, think of the slang word, because I don't believe we can say that on YouTube. Let's not get demonetized, that wouldn't be fun. Until we can support us in other ways. But anyways, gentlemen... How the kitty betrays women at times. So, in her first video, I bet you're wondering, you know, what did she mean by this? <laughs> her electronic tools. You know, she's uh, practicing a bit of self-love in hopes that, you know, she can calm herself during her ovulation period. And, um, I can see that, you know? I feel like they're usually pretty darn rabid towards me when uh, it's their time of the month. <laughs> I don't know if you fellas feel that way, but let me explain that for um, the less cultured gentlemen. So, during the ovulation period of a woman, they tend to seek more masculine men than when they're not ovulating. And I'll fully explain this in the rest of the video, but for the second point here, masculine men. So chads, alphas, that's what they seek during their time, because they understand, oingo boingo, it's my time to procreate. <laughs> and this is just uh, quite a general thing, but when they're not ovulating, it's quite the opposite actually. I bet you find that if you're in a relationship with a woman, she tends to be a bit more standoffish or perhaps a little bit less loving, whereas when they're ovulating, it's more like they'll cling to you and they'll want to do more things such as stay in and watch movies and cuddle. <laughs> My God. And, um, you know, just be closer with each other. And that's just their um, <laughs> maternal instinct kicking in that, you know, you need to care for them during this time and whatnot. So that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? On the flip side, men also tend to prefer women during this time as well. And there are certain cues that they see, like the blushing of cheeks, their lips appear a little bit more swollen, their eyes more dilated. And men pick up on these cues and... Um, that's a tip for you gentlemen, you know, when you're approaching your dating life or, you know, you're just seeing people for the first time. Keep that in mind. You might be able to pick up on those subtle physical aspects that, um, <laughs> if she hasn't blatantly said so, uh, you just know. Their behavior changes. What they look for changes. How they look slightly changes. And I think that these are all good tools for men to have when um, deciding to date. 
Now, I think the saddest bit of this whole point is, uh, frankly, how <laughs> how things go. My apologies when um, they're during their cycle. Uh, your relationship will change in a little bit of a way, you know? When they're fertile, they may have um, different tendencies than when they're not. Maybe you can put two and two together, what I'm saying there, but, you know. Just be a bit more wary of your woman when <laughs> it's this time of their um, day, or week, or month. You get the picture. This is going to be a relatively short video as I feel like this is a pretty self-explanatory thing. But, you know. Some men just aren't aware of this or some men are new to the dating market or some men have not dated at all and they may just be curious about this. Um, it may be a bit of a taboo subject on YouTube, and quite frankly, I really hope that YouTube doesn't see this as inappropriate content. This video is a bit more educational than entertaining, although I have to say our TikTok creator there was quite stoned out of her gourd. Um, must believe in manifestation and all of that hoo-ha, <laughs> because, uh, you know... Her tools bring her clarity. No, no, no. They bring you pleasure, darling. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> but anyways, this is going to be a relatively short one. Fiends, it's been a pleasure presenting my findings to you today. And if you like my content, help spread it throughout YouTube by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Turn on the notification bell as I'll have new findings for you every single day. Do comment down below the video with your thoughts on this creator and any thoughts of mine that resonated with you or any topics of discussion in regards to this video. Don't forget to visit Taylor and Mr. Cesori's channels today as well to support our fellow Fiend Gang content creators and catch up on their daily content as well. Until tomorrow, do your due diligence.